is a presentation of Fox Sports. We are Fox Sports. We are the Lions. The Dayton Flyers have dropped three straight and would love to get back on track this afternoon, but they'll have to get past a stingy St. Louis defense at the Shavitz Center, where the Billikens are 11-1 on the year. Dayton and St. Louis next on Fox Sports Ohio. Everybody and welcome to Shavitz Arena in downtown St. Louis, where this afternoon the Dayton Flyers look to get back on track after losing three in a row against the streaking St. Louis Billikens, who are heading to the top of the Atlantic 10. Hi everybody, I'm Jeff Begore, alongside former Flyer Captain Derek Dukes. And Derek, just a week ago, Dayton was on a roll. They lost three straight. One thing we know about them is they are very good offensively. We also know St. Louis plays a clamp down defense. One of them has to give, don't they? We absolutely do. When, Jeff, when you think about it, exactly a month ago today, these two teams kicked off the first half of the ATN season with Dayton picking up a 79-72 overtime win at UD Arena. Fast forward one month, Different venue, same identity. Dayton continues to score the basketball by a high rate, averaging just about 78 points per game and eight and a half made three-pointers, which both lead the Atlantic 10 Conference. And you look at St. Louis, allowing only 57 points per game, which is eighth in the nation, tops in the Atlantic 10. So something has to give this afternoon. Well, I know as a former guard, you are looking forward to this. We're in for a treat today as two of the top point guards in the conference, maybe even in the country, are going head-to-head -head today. Well, we get the chance to see two of the best the Atlantic 10 has to offer. Kevin Diller, tremendous point guard, has played some great basketball, averaging 15 points and eight assists over the last eight games, and continues to be the leader, leader of this team. And when you look at Kwame Mitchell, veteran point guard for St. Louis, plays with great poise, great pace, he distributes the basketball, he scores the basketball, and scores nearly 1,200 points. So whoever wins this battle between the point guards will probably win the game, Jeff. Well, it should be an exciting battle and an exciting basketball game. Dayton has not lost four games in a row in six full seasons. We shall see. Stay with us. We'll have a starting lineup to the tip right after this. 